Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. Uh, before I start today's shave and show you what I'm shaving with, I just want to show you um, someone. Uh, just give me two seconds. This is little Riley, my new puppy. Say hello, Riley. Hello, YouTube shavers. Um, he's 10 weeks old and um, he's a, a bundle of fun and a bundle of love, so. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys before I started the shave. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's little Riley. Um, yeah, great fun. So, what we're shaving with today? So, I'm going to start the shave with Parasol Red pre shave. Uh, the razor today, something I haven't used for uh, quite a while, is the long handled Merker Progress um, and inside that this is a two piece razor and the blade I have inside that the, the head just slips off like that I, I have um, a Paul Silver Super Iridium blade and I'll just put that back together and again for anyone using one of these razors um, just make sure you see the little notch on the top cap there just on this bit and these arrow here, just make sure they're aligned properly because the dial on the bottom where you adjust it won't line up otherwise. As you can see, it's went back to one. So today I'm going to have it on setting three. If you can see that, just there. And the little dot will tell you where setting three is. So I'll put that in the water just to get some heat in the blade. And the brush today, which again has been soaking in my very expensive brush soaker. Um, this is a limited edition one, I have another one, but <laughs> is the um, wonderful little blonde, the Samog 610 bore brush. Uh, that's been soaking that, that's the brush for today. The soap for today is, someone said that they hadn't seen me use this soap in a, a shaving video and it was in uh, mentioned, I mentioned it in one of my Super 6, the Super 6 soaps, and it's this Mitchell's Wool Fat, and this comes in a, a ceramic um, pot like this, and I'll just give you a look at the lid. Uh, this is a, a, um, an English soap, it's made in Bradford in Yorkshire. Um, original, what does it say, 1893 formula, but I think that's when Mitchell started using, uh, making soap. I think the this particular soap, the shaving soap was started getting made in the 1930s. So it's been going for quite a long time. And there's the puck of soap in there. I've not bloomed it. So it comes out like that and there's the puck of soap and it's just a nice clean smelling soap. And it fits into this like that, so I'm not going to bloom it. I'm just going to try and lather it straight from the puck in the bowl. Okay, how is everyone doing? It's uh, very dark here at the moment. It's um, yeah, it's getting darker at night. So I'll just get the brush. That's that's got to be an excuse there. That sounded like it's getting dark. So yeah, let's get a little blonde out. <laughs> so I'll get the brush. Put it in the water, shake it out twice, and we'll just get to loading the, the brush with the soap. And some people have some problems loading Mitchell's wool fat, but as you can see, look, the suds are spilling out the side already. If you can see that. Yeah. Um, I've never had a problem with it. I've used it quite a maybe about half a dozen times, but I've never shaved with it on video for some strange reason. I don't know why. So I'm just loading the brush and yeah, some people prefer to soak this puck but um, I think when I used it in the past I have soaked it but today I just thought well let's just give it a try from a dry puck and it seems to be loading the brush quite well. You can always add more water if need be. I just remembered I'm loading the brush and I've not put the pre-shave on yet. <laughs> I don't 
doesn't matter. I can do that in a second. So we'll load the brush, which I think there is enough in there now. And I shall now get the Parasso Red pre-shave and I'll, I'll apply that to my face. And then we can get the shave going. Yeah, hope everyone's well, hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, mine's has been filled with playing with a new dog, with a new puppy, Riley. And Riley is actually named after BB King. BB King's um, real name was Riley B. King. And I'm a big, or I'm a big fan of BB King, who's sadly no longer with us, so I decided to call the dog Riley after BB King. So here's the soap and the brush loaded and let's lather up and see how we get on. Yeah, this is a just a nice clean soapy scent on Mitchell's wheel fat. Very, very good soap. Excellent skin properties because it has lanolin in it. I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush. And this brush is really nice and soft now. I've been using it quite a bit. I'm just going to dip the tips again because it is a bit of a thirsty soap. And we don't want it in my nose. And again, just dipping the tips. You can see it's um, created a nice lather from a dry puck. I'm just painting it on, and I can go back to the puck again if I need to to get more soap. There's some actually in the pot, the ceramic pot that the soap comes in, so it's fine. That looks good. Yeah, some people have um, trouble lathering Mitchell's wheel fat. Uh, I live in a very soft water area, so it's not too bad. Some people with hard water find it really hard to, to lather it up. Okay, progress. Setting three with uh, Paul Silver on, uh, I think that's the third use on this blade. So let's see how we get on with that. Yeah. That feels lovely. Nice and uh, slick. Great cushion, very comfortable. Yeah, I haven't used this razor in a long time. And it feels great to be using it again. Very comfortable. And again, no pressure on the blade or the razor. Just let it glide over your skin. And I think I just nicked my Adam's apple again. I'm getting good at that. Yeah, just a little bit. I think the last couple of videos I did in the, the, the swallowing trick where you... And it kind of disappears, but um, I fell out there, but... Oh well, not to worry.
Yeah, this is a nice soap. Has a very, um, I find the scent from it very calming. Some strange reason. Yeah, I uh, I find it very calming. The scent, very relaxing. But it is quite a thirsty soap, so don't be scared to add more water if you need to to the to the brush in between passes. That's the first pass done. Wow! Apart from that little stupid nick there on my Adam's apple, which I'm like I say, I'm getting quite good at. Yeah, a nice first pass. Okay, I'll just go to rinse off, and I will come straight back. Okay, rinsed off. Back for the second pass with the Mitchell's wheel fat. Just uh, dipping the tips just a tiny little bit. Just to get a little bit more moisture for the the glide for the razor. Yeah, like I say, don't be afraid to, if you feel it's um, getting a little bit dry. Some of these soaps are really thirsty. This one is, um, I think it's because of the lanolin that's in it. Don't be afraid to add more water just to make your lather a bit more creamier. That looks good. Okay. Hello, any new subscribers or first time watchers? Thank you for joining us all here on the Kevy Shaves YouTube channel. Hello to my regular viewers and commenters. <laughs> I don't know why you do that. Okay, second pass across the green. Very nice. Yeah, we uh, we picked up the puppy Riley last um, Friday. So all weekend we've been trying to get them to settle in there's new surroundings and meeting new people. I don't think we've had um, as many visitors to the house in one weekend. Everyone has been coming up to see him. Ah, he's gorgeous, he's gorgeous. Let me hold him, let me hold him. And, but he is, a, he is a very, very good dog. Great temperament. Well, he's a puppy, so he's into everything and chewing everything, and but great fun. Yeah, Mrs. Kevy's uh, been after a dog for years, but I, I've not been too keen. But I must say, I'm glad I got him. He's a little angel. Just as long as he doesn't get into my shaving soaps. <laughs> yeah, if he if he chews those, 
Um, yeah, it'll look like he's had um, he's had rabies. He'll be foaming at the mouth with the the soaps. <laughs> but he won't get to chew them. I'll keep an eye on them. Okay, second pass done. Feels fantastic. Let me just rinse off and come back for pass number three. Okay, back for pass three. Yeah, it's hard to describe the scent of the soap. I would say it's um, it's not just a just a um, kind of bog standard soapy smell. It's got a nice. I don't know what it is. It's not overpowering, it's just very calming. I find it. Personally, I'm just going to go back to the puck and just gather a little bit more soap. And dip the tips again. Yeah, that's better. Just give it a little more soap on here just to, for the final against the green pass. Okay, looks good. Pass number three against the green. And I've just left this on a uh, setting three. It's um, the Paul Silver Super Iridium Blade is uh, very comfortable in this razor. I hope you've all been having some good shaves, enjoying some fantastic soaps, brushes, razors, aftershaves, balms, colognes. Okay. Very quick dog pass. And that is still lovely and slick. Yeah, very nice. A couple of little bits just to pick up. I'll go and rinse off and I will come back and do those. Okay. Yeah, a couple of little bits I just need to pick up. So what I'm going to do is scoop the rest of the soap out of the brush, apply it to my face and have a little feel about. And if there's any little bits I want to get closer yeah, it's just the usual spots, kind of down here and here. I'll just do that now.
Okay, feels good. I'm happy at that. Okay, I'm just going to rub the rest of this in. I'll have a little rinse off with some hot water and cold water, then I'll come back for the post shave. Okay, we are back, and that is a nice shave. Very nice. Actually, the thing about Mitchell's wool fat is the, the post shave feel. It's fantastic. Really nice. Okay, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Just a little spot of this. Good for the skin. Nice scent from the Thayer's Lemon. Nice shave. Yeah, it feels really nice. And I'll just dry this. And while that's drying in, let's go over again what we've used today. We used the Purasso Red. Uh, this is a sandalwood scent. This is the pre-shave. And you could also use this as a post-shave actually. So, um, but I used it as a pre-shave today. Fantastic. Really good. The razor today, uh, nice to be using this again. The long handled Merker Progress. Two piece razor. Yeah, it gives me a great shave. And I had it today on setting three, which you can see there. Yeah, I really enjoyed using this. I've not used it for a while. Um, and it was very enjoyable. Very smooth shave. And inside that, the blade was a Paul Silver Super Iridium. Uh, and that was the third use on that blade. Very good, very smooth. And I actually just bought 100 of those blades because I like them so much. Um, yeah, they're seriously good blades. The soap today, the fat. Mitchell's Will Fat. Shaving soap. Uh, wonderful soap. Really calming, great cushion, protection, glide. Yeah, the post shave feels fantastic on it. There it is there. Comes in a little ceramic pot. And let me just lift it up. And that lid goes on like that. But you can see the soap there. I didn't bloom it, so uh, it was okay to, to lather up. Um, but I have quite soft water here, so it was fine. And we lathered it up and used the wonderful little blondie. The Samog 610 bore brush, fantastic brush, really soft bristles now that it's, um, it's broken in, feels great. Uh, we then rinsed off with some hot and cold water, Maybe there's a couple of little weepers there, nothing to, to, nothing to write home about. <laughs> we then rinsed off with hot and cold water and I applied some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Very good, good for the skin. And I'm going um, straight back to the, maybe the 70s with this. This is um, Blue Stratos Aftershave. Yeah, blast from the past with this. And to, the, to me, when I put this on, um, I don't know if you've got the, when I was a kid, there used to be a chewing gum called Bazooka Joe. Uh, it was a little square, and inside it was like a little fold out comic. Uh, just, and it was a, like a, if I remember correctly, it was like a pink chewing gum. Bazooka Joe it was called. And on the front of it was a little guy with a baseball cap. And to me, this is what that smells like. <laughs> Blue straws. When I put this on, it smells like Bazooka Joe chewing gum. <laughs> ah, a little bit of a tingle. Just from these little bits on my Adam's apple there, where I nicked it, but oh, it's a nice classic manly scent. Blue Stratos. Yeah, I think my dad actually used to wear this when I, when I was a kid. It shows you how long it's been on the go, but um, yeah, it's just a nice aftershave scent. 
nothing too overpowering. Bazooka Joe. <laughs> nice shave. Very nice. I'm happy at that. Okay, that's the shave over and done with for once again. Um, until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all your support. Thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to keep you updated with uh, Little Riley because um, I don't want him to steal the show, <laughs> right, because he's so cute. Um, but it was nice to just uh, show you guys um, a new addition to the Kevy Shaves family. Um, right, okay, that's all from me. I'll let you go. Uh, thank you again for watching and until the next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.